So in the past on this channel, we've talked about a lot of terrible people, people who just want to take advantage of the system, no matter what the consequences may be. And it's happening again. Again, it happens all the time, but it's not always documented. But this one really takes the cake. So you might remember, depending on how long you've been on this channel, we talked about how a DoorDasher confronted someone that said they never claimed their order and they were just looking at it like, what, what do you mean? Because essentially what happens is, it happens a lot. There will be people who order from DoorDash and then they'll just claim for a refund saying they never got their order at all. And then they fuck over to DoorDash driving themselves. On top of that, on top of that, they don't even give a good tip. So you got big pieces of shit who feel so good and empowered because they want to take advantage of a system they know that they won't ever really get penalized for. And more times than not, it's going to be on the driver's fault, even though they never did anything wrong. So to give you some of the lore before the video plays, essentially what happened was a lady ordered from DoorDash. Uh, the, the order came, but she said that she never got it. And so the DoorDash driver came back to where he delivered the order to confront the lady. And this is what happened. There she is. Hello. So you didn't get the DoorDash order? Yeah, that's that look of, oh, fuck, damn, he came back. I wasn't expecting that. Like, you see how the, the side eye looking away doesn't really want to look at the actual driver himself. Like, come on, man. How do you sit there and you just do something? this like what do you expect like i feel like people get so emboldened they just be like man these people ain't gonna come back if i do it who cares what, what's the worst that's gonna happen get fired yes that actually could happen and it happens all the time i'm sorry you didn't get the doordash order from earlier i'm at work currently and i have no idea what you're talking about i she she even okay. saw you with the what food i mean okay. you guys have cameras here you said the order never arrived i don't know what what do you mean? So, why does it say that the customer says the order never arrived? I don't know. And he wants to be. Okay. I didn't. They couldn't make it for him. No man. And were you just trying to get free food and put my job on the line? Didn't do anything. Okay. Well, we're we got to figure something out because it says that the customer says the order never arrived, and I got a contract violation. Gotcha. I'm an independent contractor. Yeah, it's with okay. Harry the. Uh, so that puts my job at risk. Assistant. The physician so assistant we're going to have to yeah. call DoorDash support off your phone because I wasn't the one that said the order never arrived. It's on, it's an on your side of things. What? I did it online, but um, I don't. It doesn't just randomly happen magically. You have to get a hold of DoorDash support directly to say that the order never arrived. Okay. Um, it's a shared account, so it might be yeah, I something have a that somebody else did accidentally. I would have to talk okay. to them. Oh, uh, yeah. It's a shared account. <laughs> God, yeah, I, I share my DoorDash account with everybody. And you know what? And somehow the order that got delivered to me, someone else ordered it on my account. I got the food, but someone else did a refund because the account was shared. C come on, DoorDash driver. How do you not get that? Clearly, it makes sense. She says they're like a goddamn toddler, like got caught and, and putting her little hand in the cookie jar and she took little cookies out. And now her parents are trying to ask her what happened. She's like, oh, what are you, what are you talking about? I I didn't have no while well, you got little cookie you got little cookie crumbs coming off your face while you talk. Like how how can you just be so emboldened and fucking lie? This gets on my nerves seeing people do this time and time and time again, especially when you can be caught. If there's fucking cameras and people really want to escalate this shit, they can sit there and push you on this and get something done about this. It, 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 I, I just I can't wrap my head around why people want to do shit like this, especially when you can get caught easily. Why lie? Why go through the trouble just to save yourself, what, 15 bucks on your meal? Okay, well, but we're going to... currently at work. Yeah, I'm yeah. currently at work, too, and now my job's at risk because of... Right. I don't know. I, she said your boyfriend's name is Chris. She said she saw you with the food. So you, you got the food earlier, right? You down here, sir? Yeah. Okay. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. All that for nothing. She sits there, what are you talking about? You don't know what you're talking about. Then he asks, did you get your food? She said, yeah, I did. So then why would you play stupid the whole fucking time? Why? Please make this make sense. I don't get this. And then her whole, oh, you're making a scene right now. I'm at work. You know, can we can we do this later? You're, you're, you're affecting his job. He's at work right now. And now you're potentially putting his job on the line where he's not going to be at work anymore. The audacity to just say things like that. I am just, I, I, people like that are pieces of shit. I almost wish they would lose their job for something like that. You got no integrity at all. You have no honesty inside your bones. And you're willing to just lie it up and play it up for a hot about minute or so until you finally got pressed enough that you're like, 
fuck. All right, I got my order, but look, it's a shared account. I need to go and handle this and, and see what my boyfriend and, and see what happened. Maybe he refunded the order and, you know, we have to get it fixed. Yeah, she says that. Like I said, yeah, first, I didn't do anything. Okay. I think I'm in the right place. Okay, so well, I could have used the wrong card and he refunded it. It wasn't, he it wasn't, you can't refund it. It's What's you, your last name? you oh, yeah, reported the order, order as never it's arrived. It's There's no okay. refund about that. Well, maybe, I mean, there is a refund if you don't get your order, I think, for your food. But that's the point of that is people don't get, like, my job's at risk. I can't just give you free food and and sweep it under the rug. Like, it's not how it works. Like, I have a job, too. I have five kids. I got to feed. Like, it's not. I get that, but I didn't do it. So I mean, I Well, I understand. So can we pull the phone out and figure out? Yeah, let's. Okay. But you got the food earlier? Yes. Okay. All right. I'm not, I'm not, I didn't do it, so I'm not going to say that. And so the video ends right there, but you can tell she was clearly lying a majority of the time because she says, well, I got my order, but oh, well, maybe my boyfriend used the wrong card and he refunded it. What? 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 It's on your phone. You made the order. What? You gave your phone to your boyfriend and then he happened to, what, use your credit card to purchase for it, but instead he was meant to use his credit card? Like, you're making this convoluted. You're making it seem like it's a plot to a TV show that that doesn't go nowhere. It, it makes no sense why you would go through this trouble to just make up this lie. And then to continue off by saying, well, I got my order. I, I didn't do nothing wrong. This isn't my problem. I think maybe uh, my boyfriend did. Well, is your boyfriend working with you? Does he work in the hospital with you? Is he the one that pulled out your phone and made order on your phone? And then he happened to put his credit card in, but then it's like, oops, I should have used the other credit. See, that's what doesn't make sense. How are you going to make up this most convoluted as backwards story and, and try and, and tell yourself that, yeah, this, this works. This clearly makes sense. No, it doesn't. So following that, there were updates made. Luckily, we didn't get blue balled, and that's where the cliffhanger of this Dragon Ball Z episode ends. But there is a finale to it, one that is good, but then it turns around and hits you with a plot twist that's even worse than you, than you expected. So let's take a look at that. You know, I just wanted to get her confessing on camera, you know, hey, I got the food, which she did. And after that, the video, so the video cut off, and I basically just told her, hey, look, um, I know, I guess we're not going to get this solved right here, right this second. I said, but you got until the end of the day to get this contract violation figured out. I said, or if I wake up in the morning and it's still there, when I come back tomorrow, it's not going to be good. It's not going to be a fun time. And I said, I understand. And she said, I understand. And, uh, that was it. So I walked out anyways, days go by or not days. The day goes by. I wake up in the morning and that video is probably at 8 million. Um, I go to check my DoorDash app. Definitely don't have a contract violation on there anymore. So she definitely took care of it, but. So here it looks like we have a good ending. She finally uh, resolved the issue and got his contract violation removed. And, you know, we thought we were going to sing Kumbaya, go dance together in the flower petals and go back on for life where everything's normal. But this is not how this story ends, unfortunately. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I hate to break it to you, but it's worse so what you're seeing right now ladies and gentlemen is the doordash driver that you saw earlier in the video his account got deactivated it said we received a report that you created an unsafe environment by using abusive language or verbally assaulting another person while engaging with the doordash platform after completing our investigation we determined this conduct to be in violation of our independent contractor agreement and the doordash deactivation policy wow <laughs> okay now i will say to give doordash the benefit of the doubt maybe this was a situation that this doordash driver had with another customer but considering the effort that he went through in the previous video on how he wasn't rude it wasn't aggressive uh for what they said uh by using abusive language and verbally assaulting another person it doesn't look like that now maybe doordash is upset because he posted a video on tiktok and now it's sitting at i think 30 million views so maybe doordash is a little bit upset that there was so much attention brought to this and they don't want their company being shown in a bad light and they want everything to be sunshine and rainbows and this doesn't fit their image and so this is their way of clapping back sure they removed the the contract violations that happened with the previous order but then you know they can find other reasons to get rid of someone it looks like this is what their reason is and to add on top of that if it was related to the order where the customer lied about receiving her order 
I, what do you expect a driver to do? Just ignore it? Just there to let the customer just follow? Say, ah, I didn't get my order. Oh, well, too bad, so sad. Like, that's not, no. Of course, the driver, if one cares about their fucking job, which I would hope you would want uh, your employee or your contractor to actually care, they're going to go back and try and get it resolved because they know they did a good job. They know they delivered the order and that the customer is a lying piece of shit and they don't really care about the consequences that happened to the driver themselves. So what? Is DoorDash expecting the driver to say, hey, uh, if you could, I mean, you don't have to. I, I, it would be nice if you could uh, talk with DoorDash, please. They said that you didn't receive your order, and I, I know I delivered it, but if you, you don't have to, all right? Please, I'm not going to post it on TikTok or anything, but if you could, please uh, get this resolved for me. Again, you don't have to. Is that what they want? Is that what they want him to do? No, that's not. You're not going to get nothing done. They're just going to laugh at you and be like, ah, <laughs> okay, yeah, I'll get it fixed later, buddy. That's all that would happen. Come on now. Like, it, man, fuck DoorDash. Anyway, DoorDash drivers sucks. They suck at supporting the DoorDash drivers themselves, the ones who go through the effort to try and at least put their best foot forward. It's not to say that all of them are amazing. I get that. But at the same time, if you have customers who do shit like this and you almost get no backup or support from the company themselves, and instead they rather just terminate you and send you to the shadow realm because they can just get more bodies, then it doesn't really instill confidence to get people who want to do a good job or good service to sign up for your platform and uh, deliver orders to people. Anyways, you made this far into the video. Consider giving a like, subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment below what you think. Have a great day. Yeah.